Hey guys, and welcome to a new and very short tutorial about exporting and importing any kind of assets from Maya, 3ds Max and Blender to CryEngine. I know I covered this in a few tutorials here and there, but in the upcoming episodes I want to have a specific short tutorial I can always forward you guys to, and therefore, here we go. First, let's start with Maya. Again, I will skip unnecessary parts for this tutorial and we'll go to the export process right away. Here at Export all, choose FPX and a window will pop up. Let's specify what we want to include. If you have a simple mesh, smoothing groups should be turned on just like the smooth mesh and the reference as its content. Oh, and yeah, that's, that's it, quite simple. But if you have a character with animations, this can get a bit confusing, but hey, I'm here to explain it to you. First of all, you need to include the animation by checking this box here. And then we need to tell the exporter to include and bake animations. You can even decide the exact frame of the animation you want to export right here. If you have any blend shapes on your character, you will want to include them of course as well as the skin. And that's it. That's all you would usually need uh, to export your FPX. Let's continue with 3ds Max. Same steps here, go to export, in this window here you have to choose a place to store your FPX and name it right away before our FPX export window will pop up. Let's again choose what we want to include, smoothing groups in geometry, turbo smooth and triangulate. Those are the three settings that we need. And if you have an animated character, again we need to select the animation checkbox, bake the animation, same goes for the deformations on skin and morse if you have blend shapes. As soon as you have that decided, you're done and you can export your file. And to the last but not least software, Blender. And again we go export FPX. Okay, this is, this is a bit different. First we need to decide what we want to include inside our FPX and we define that with the objects type right here. Then we have a transform setting where we can transform our object and decide the forward direction and up direction for our geometry. If you change any value here, don't forget to apply the unit. Continuing with geometry, we choose the smoothing of a normal surface and also we want to apply all the modifiers we used on our project. Next up is the armature, which is the character scene in Blender, which stores the mesh of a character, the animation or action in Blender, and the pose. We do not want any changes here, or if you want to change anything, that's that's on you. Um, no, but with this setting, you change the orientation of the bones, and this can have some weird results in the engine, so unless you know exactly what you are doing, don't touch those settings. And the last setting is Bake Animation, which we of course want to have if our character has any. Select all of the checkboxes down below and click on Export FPX. Done. Before we can continue with the import process in the engine, I want to talk about different ways of exporting your work to the engine. Yes, we have our own tools for Maya and 3ds, but I like to avoid using them for a reason. First of all, we don't have tools for other software people might be using, like Blender, Cinema or Houdini. So using FBX unites all of those amazing softwares and makes you more flexible, I guess. Well, okay, let's continue uh, with the import to CryEngine of our FBX. Okay, now let's get to the actual process, which is fairly simple. Start up the editor and drag and drop the FBX file into your asset browser. But before releasing your um, mouse to drop the file, hold control. A small window will pop up and ask you what is it that exactly you want in life. Or it will ask you what you want to include. Mesh, skeleton, skin mesh and animation. You can decide where you want to object where you want your object to be imported and then you can hit on import. And we are done here. Thank you for watching guys. I hope this little tutorial helps you a bit and will also fasten up your workflow here and there. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to hit like on this video. This helps us a lot. And if you are not subscribed yet, what the hell are you waiting for? Check out our official Discord channel linked in the description below and if you really watch this tutorial until the very last second, type in the comments section so I know you people really listen every and each word I say I did. <laughs> See you in the next one guys, bye bye.